Hey everyone, Alex Gleitman here, Night Report on the Rivals.com network. We're here with Illinois 2021 defensive lineman, Ryan Keeler. Ryan just announced his commitment to Rutgers. We have him live on video. Ryan, congratulations on your commitment to Rutgers. How does it feel to be a member of the Scarlet Knights 2021 class? Thank you. Uh, I'm glad to be on here. It's, uh, it's a blessing, honestly. It means the world to me. Uh, Rutgers it definitely holds a special place in my heart, and I'm uh, excited to be part of the team. Awesome. And, you know, you actually made this commitment uh, a couple weeks ago. You told me uh, you had a Zoom call. It was – everyone knows about it. It was on our board. It was a big Zoom call on Monday – on a Monday a couple weeks back. Uh, walk everyone through that moment, uh, who, you were on the, who you were on the call with and, and kind of how the whole uh, commitment went down and how the staff reacted. I got you. Yeah, it was, uh, so it was me, mom, and my dad. Uh, my dad was at work. My mom was sitting right next to me. And then it was just uh, all the other coaches left the call. And then it was me, uh, just me, my mom, and my dad and Coach Shiano. And uh, he, like, he, he paused and he was like, can you say that again? And I was like, I'm committed to coach. And he was, like, he was like, oh, my God, this is great. This is so exciting. Like, I can't wait. He was like, you're going to be a great leader for us. I'm so excited. And um, uh, it was, he, he seemed really relieved and excited. That's awesome. And, you know, you, you had some, some pretty big offers. I know what was your final five? It was Michigan, Rutgers, Virginia, Texas Tech, and I'm forgetting one more. Ole Miss. Ole Miss. So you had, I mean, you had some pretty big power five offers. Um, you know, there were some other schools, obviously, at that level in consideration. I know a number of other schools that were and maybe still are hoping to get a look at you um, this coming year. Uh, but you picked Rutgers. What made you pick the Scarlet Knights over those other programs? Uh, the relationship with the staff, for sure. I mean, I feel like I feel like I've known Coach Shiano and all the guys for a few years now. Like we're really tightly bonded, and I feel I truly feel like the family atmosphere there. Uh, like not just like I can see right through the fakeness now, and they're truly they're truly uh, a family, and they're real. And and Coach Panagos is going to be your your position coach at Rutgers. I know you have a really strong relationship with him, and that was big in this. And that dates all the way back to when he was at Minnesota. Um, I mean, obviously, you know, when he started recruiting you there, he was selling a, a different Big Ten program that I know was was trying to recruit you and 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 get you to come to Minneapolis and 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 the Twin Cities. But then he goes to Rutgers. Uh, what was that transition like? You know, how did he kind of communicate that whole process to you and? Like when he got to Rutgers, how hard was he on you? Oh yeah, so I mean, honestly, when he when he first took the job at Rutgers, like he changed his profile picture and said like hashtag chop, and I, I thought he got like hacked or something. I'm like, who's this guy? So I called him. I was like, what's up? What's up with this bro? And he's like, oh yeah, no, I took the job over here, and then uh, you know, he gave, gave me the reasons why. I said that's that's the good reasons. I would do the same thing, and he just uh, he's been recruiting me <laughs> very hard as soon as he got there. He's he told me. I, the same, same. We're doing the same thing here. I, I want you to come with. Yeah, I know your, um, I know your recruitment had a, I would call it. It was almost like a, a little bit of a roller coaster with Rutgers. Um, you know, I think they felt pretty good at one point, and then maybe they got a little bit nervous, and then obviously they felt really good at the end. How happy was Coach Panagos when you gave him? He probably had a feeling for a while that this was going to happen, but when you gave him that official word, what was his reaction like? Uh, he, he, he was, he was going crazy. I'm not gonna lie, like he. He stopped. He just like stopped. I went on the phone. I was talking to him. I didn't hear a noise out of him for like 30 seconds. I literally thought he like passed out. I was like, I was like, are you okay? Like, hello? And like, he was like, I'm here. I was just taking that in. And uh, it, it was, it was exciting. He was like, I, I don't think I've ever seen him happier. Honestly, it was, it was a good, it was a good feeling. That's great. I'm sure you, you definitely made his day and probably his week. Um, speaking of him and Coach Yano, I mean, what have they told you about how they plan to use you uh, on the field when you arrive on the banks? For sure. They, uh, they told me that um, on, they have like a special third down uh, package. So they would, they would use me as like their, uh, their, their rusher guy. So they would use me as they would line me up at, as whoever they grade the weakest pass protectors. And they would line me up over him, whether that be defensive end or nose tackle. They just feel that strongly of my abilities. And then on uh, first and second down, I would I would be a strong side defenseman. What's your height and weight right now? Uh, six four and a half, two forty five. And what what weight? I mean, ideally, do you want to kind of get to? I mean, you, you obviously got to see how your 
you know, where your body goes with the strength and conditioning program and things of that nature. Um, you know, I know some people have felt like, oh, maybe you're, you grow into a three tech and you're a guy who can kind of play a little bit inside, a little bit outside, as you just mentioned. Uh, I personally feel like you could be a great strong side end for Rutgers, maybe playing at something like 275 eventually. What, what's your like ideal track as far as, you know, where you hope to get your way to eventually? I think I'll be, uh, I think I could play at two, 265. Uh, that's what the, uh, Coach Butler, the strength coach, and Coach Panico say would be a, a really good way for me. They said there's no reason for me to really be uh, above that. So it's just, I feel like I could move, move excellent at 265. But I mean, even if I was 280, I would still be moving the same. But just whatever they want me at, I'll, I'll get there. That's the right answer. I think that they'll, they'll tell you for sure. And <laughs> You know, I, I've seen your film. I think, you know, probably a lot of people on the board have, but maybe a lot of Rutgers fans who are watching this have not. Tell us what you bring, you know, what you're going to bring to the to the program on the field, but also what you're going to bring to the program off the field, maybe in the locker room and as a student athlete. For sure. I, I like to say I'm like a very relentless player. I'm always going. I'm always going to give 110%, and that's just uh, a testament to Coach Racky and uh, our NAS program because, I mean, if you're not giving your all, you're, you're out of there. It doesn't matter if I'm – if I'm the best player on the team, he, he wants someone that's going to give it his all, and that's exactly how it is. And off the field, off the field and on the field, I feel like I have great leadership qualities and, like, people like to, to follow after me. So I think that'll, that is something that will translate to when I'm at Rutgers. And when you do get to Rutgers, uh, what are some of your – what are going to be some of your goals, both for you individually and then, you know, for the team? You're entering a program that's kind of going through a little bit of a, a rebuild and overhaul of, of culture and, you know, talent, uh, an infusion of talent with Coach Giano kind of elevating the, the, the recruiting level a little bit. You know, what are your goals for your, let's call it, three to five years when you're at Rutgers? Yes, sir, for sure. Uh, our team goal for sure is to win a national championship. That's kind of been Coach Giano's goal for a long time. And, I believe that we can do that or else I wouldn't have chose Rutgers. And then my, my team goals, I want to play early right away as a freshman. And then I want to end up being an All-American. That's pretty high praise. Uh, you know, I, I'd love to see you be a first round pick one day and maybe win, uh, maybe win some trophies. But, you know, I think to your point, the goal of winning a national championship, they need guys like you to be able to do that. So uh, with that said, you know, this recruiting class is almost full at this point. Um, you guys have some pretty good talent in there. Uh, I guess two questions. First, have you been able to connect with the other commits in the class at all? And then second, are there any players that you're going to try to go out and recruit to help finish this class strong? I have a pretty good relationship with uh, Braden Fox. Um, I've met him, uh, I met him at a few visits, uh, Michigan State being the most uh, recent one. And he was a musical guy. And then the Three guys I'm going to go after, or the four guys I'm going to go after for sure would be uh, Robert Jackson, uh, what is Gino, uh, and then um, Audric from um, St. Joe's. Yep. Um, and then Malone, the D tackle. Where uh, those are the four I, I really want, and I think that can help us reach that goal. Yeah, absolutely, and you know. Uh... I know a lot of the guys, we've been talking to them. Uh, Fox, Braden Fox is one of them that's going to be enrolling early uh, in January. I mean, who knows with, with the way the Big Ten uh, has postponed now to the spring, and maybe he'll be playing for Rutgers um, in, the, in the spring season if that's going to be allowed and, and the spring season actually happens. But are you, are you planning to enroll early? Uh, yes, sir, for sure. So right now I'm, I'm uh, starting my online classes next week, so I'm going to – finish all the credits I need to do and then get to college early. So, I mean, nothing will change with what I'm doing right now. I think this home training right now has really been uh, really helpful. This quarantine, I, I think, is the best thing that's ever happened to me. It just gave me a lot of time to myself where I can just focus on myself. Yeah, I mean, if, if we're going to find silver linings, uh, at least, you know, you you had an opportunity to to kind of grow as a person and as a player and get stronger and, and faster and, and prepare yourself for the next level. Speaking of this fall, uh, I know Illinois decided to kind of ax high school football, disappointing. Uh, you won't get to play your senior season there. I know that there's been some speculation that, you know, you could go to somewhere like Indiana if they have high school football and, and maybe go try to move and, and play there. Um, have you come to a decision yet as far as, you know, what you plan to do uh, this coming fall? Is it going to be, you know, just finish, get your high school degree and then go on to Rutgers, or are you going to try to maybe go somewhere and play? Uh, yeah, we, we were up in the air for this for a while, but I mean, we weighed out the benefits and the benefits of me playing a season were not really, 
n nothing much to it except for playing my season and getting that experience. But we're gonna um, we're we're deciding that we're gonna take all my classes online and head to Rutgers um, in January. So I think that's a really good decision for me. Awesome, uh, that's that's good to hear. And you know, we definitely can't wait to get you out here in Jersey. Uh, two more questions for you. First being the Big Ten uh, did announce their decision recently to at least postpone the fall college football season. They're going to hope to play in the spring. Uh, I mean, I'm skeptical that that is going to happen, but I guess what was your initial reaction when that news came out? And then I would say like, you know, if you are enrolled early and there is the potential to play or be a part of the team for that season and not lose eligibility, I mean, is that something that excites you? Yeah, I mean, when when the when I first saw the decision, I was I kind of expected that to happen. I mean, we've been hearing rumors about it for a week, but I mean, with all this Corona going on, I mean, I think everyone had a pretty big idea that football at some level was going to be delayed, canceled, or moved. So I mean, I I expected it, and then uh, yeah, for sure, uh, and have an opportunity to play as a freshman in the Big Ten in spring. That's a pretty big uh, accomplishment. It's something that I want to do. And I've talked to the staff about that, and they, they think that's something I can do for sure. That's great. And last question, and then we'll let you go and enjoy this moment with, with your family and your friends and everyone else is, uh, tell us a little bit about Ryan Keeler off the field. What do you like to do when you're not playing football? What are some of your hobbies outside of the gridiron? Um, I mean, I, uh, I'm, I, I'm, I'm running – like, I don't have that much time to do a lot of other things because I'm, do, I'm always doing some type of training or something, but uh, – I, I watch a lot of uh, a lot of like podcasts and like uh, uh, a lot of David Goggins and uh, another guy's name is Jocko. They're just like motivational speakers. And I really like, I don't know, it just like gives me like a spark and just gives me a reminder to keep going. And then I'm also a big Chase Young fan. So I watch at least two, vid two highlight videos of him a day. And it just gives me, I, I try to, I'm trying to like play like him now. So it just gives me, just gives me uh, something to work towards. That's awesome, Ryan. I know you're, a reader of the night report message board too. You love to do that on your own time, but uh, now, yeah, I, th I think everyone uh, in the Rutgers uh, universe is really happy that you're going to be a part of the family. Now uh, we're really excited to cover you the next, you know, again, three to five years and looking forward to you getting out here uh, in January. So congrats again on your commitment and thanks for joining us uh, for this video interview. Yes, sir. I appreciate it. Anytime. Thank you.